Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 12. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to create a basic form using Bootstrap. So if you build your form the way Bootstrap recommends, then by default, you actually land up having this really good looking form that is responsive. Um, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. But first of all, I just want you to take a look at the code I'm starting off with over here. So obviously we have our container, our row, our um, column, or our div, which is set to take up 12 columns. And then I've also started with a heading that just says basic form. Okay, so uh, if we take a look at this in the browser, we're gonna land up having something that looks kind of like this, uh, minus the input elements. So if I hit refresh, here we go. That's what we've got. So now let me show you guys how to start adding one of those input elements and that label, just how it was. So the way Bootstrap, re Bootstrap recommends you do this is uh, you open up your form tag, obviously, and these require action and uh, method, but we're not submitting the form anywhere, so I'm not going to fill those in. But um, just keep in mind that when you create your form, you're probably going to need an action and a method to send the data somewhere or the data somewhere. Okay, so we have our form. Now inside of our form, what we've got to do is uh, create another div. And we've got to give this div a class of form dash group. And that's just going to tell the browser that this is our form group. It's also going to apply a little bit of styling to the elements inside of here. So let's go ahead and uh, end that div off. Uh, and basically what it does is it's just going to add a bit of padding between the label and the input element that we're going to add inside of here. So uh, the next thing we need to do is actually add a label. And I'm going to end that tag off. And uh, this label needs to just have a for attribute of whichever element it is for. And I'm going to leave that blank for now, but I'm going to type in email uh, address as the label. And below that, we can go ahead and create another input of type is equal to email because the label says email address. So we can have an input of type email. And then we can go ahead and add a class of form dash control. Okay, and this is going to be quite important. So you need to add this class of form dash control. And that's just going to apply bootstrap styling to make the uh, form element responsive and also just to make it look uh, what it looks like because by it doesn't look very nice by default, but go ahead and add this class and it looks great. Okay. Um, now let go, let's go ahead and add an ID. Okay, so I'm going to add an ID of email. And whatever I put in the ID over here needs to go into this for attribute for our label. So let me go ahead and add the word email. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I can go ahead and end this input tag off. And if I go ahead and save this and view this in the browser, you can see that we now have our email address label and we have the input. And um, what this for attribute over here does means whenever I click on the label, it highlights the input box associated with that label. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That is one form element. And if we ever want to add more form elements, then uh, we need to keep the same kind of formatting. So uh, we need to keep the same form group just like that. And the next one can be uh, whatever it is, like a password maybe. So uh, password, um, and that's this four attribute and I'm just going to change the label text to password as well and I'm going to change the ID to password and of course this can't be a type of email it's going to have to be a type of password okay uh, and if we go back here and refresh you can see that now we've got an email address field and we've got a password field which is great um, and we've literally just got to keep going with this exact same formatting even if the uh, 
input element that we're going to add is going to be a little bit different. So um, let's say we were asking the user for a file, then we can go ahead and just change this label to be for a file uh, upload. And the type obviously is going to be file. And the last thing we've got to put in here is uh, an ID of uh, file dash upload or whatever we want to call it really. By the way, since I gave that an ID of file upload, I need to give this label the for attribute of file upload. So those need to be the same, just to stress that. And I'm going to remove this class. And if we go ahead and hit save and come back here and hit refresh, you can see that now we've got our label that says file upload and we've got the little um, uh, file upload button, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know why I got confused when I was trying to say that. But that's basically how to create a form. And then right at the end, once we're done and we just want to add a submit button, we still need to keep with this whole div form group thing. So that's why I copied that down. And uh, we won't need a label, but we will need an input of type is equal to submit and an ID, not that it's necessary, but we can give it an ID of submit. And then we just need to give this a class of btn dash default and that's just going to make our submit button look like a button. So let's go ahead and hit save and come back here and hit refresh and hmm, that is not right. We've got a class of submit, type of submit. Hmm. Let me go ahead and add a uh, value over here of just submit. Okay, so that's there, but we're not getting our styling. Did I make a spelling mistake? Oh, yeah, we need btn and btn default. My bad. There we go. Okay, so um, all I had to do is go ahead and add in that secondary class that I forgot to add. And now we have a button that looks like a button. So that's pretty awesome. And that is how to make a basic form in Bootstrap. And um, I'll probably be showing you guys how to make a few more other cool forms. But until then, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.